Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Suraj and I am a data engineer at Adidas. If you are a data enthusiast like me, then you have come to the right place. In today's video, I will take you through the journey of my recent job interview experience at Adidas uh, for the profile of data engineer. And we will also dive into the key differences of working uh, in a service based company to a product based company. Plus, I will also give you some tips on how to prepare for such interviews. So get a cup of coffee, get comfy and let's get started. <music> All right, picture this. Uh, it's a pleasant training morning and I was just sitting at my desk uh, fiddling through my laptop and I recently landed an interview with the uh, Adidas, the global giant known for its sportswear and uh, the innovation spirit. So before we actually get into the interview, let's rewind a bit. I spent three years working at Wipro, a service based company uh, wherein every day was like a new chapter of a never ending novel. You had to keep navigating through different projects, meeting clients different domains. It's quite a learning environment, but uh, could be quite a hassle. Now imagine uh, switching from a service based company like Wipro to a product based company, wherein it's like uh, switching from or let's say moving from a multi genre uh, playlist to a single album you can't stop listening to. Uh, Aridas is more into uh, working on its own products, which means it is more specialized and, uh, specialized and uh, innovation driven. So let's dive into my uh, interview experience at Adidas. Uh, the first round was obviously a phone screen round in which the recruiter wanted to know about my background and see if my experience uh, aligned to what they were looking for. After a day or two, I got to know that uh, my first technical round is being scheduled. The duration was of about 60 minutes, but finally it closed after uh, 70 minutes and the experience, experience was quite well. Uh, question has started with my current uh, project, my experience and roles and responsibilities, what I am actually doing in day to day activities. And uh, after that, the basic questions of Spark, Spark architecture, uh, how a Spark job actually works, then some questions about SQL. And uh, after that, they threw uh, two, I mean, good level of SQL questions. The first was, first one was, I guess, uh, to find the top three selling project, uh, products from each brand uh, in last 30 days. And uh, this was usually done by uh, window uh, functions and the uh, second SQL question was to uh, find the average salary change percentage of last year for for each department of, or, uh, of an organization. So these were two SQL questions which were asked after these two Python questions. Uh, Python questions were not much tough. Uh, the first one was to I guess uh, to remove, uh, remove the zeros from a list and append all those zeros at the end of the list. I mean the final output must contain the number of zeros which were in uh, middle initially or let's say here and there in initially they were to be they were supposed to be um, added at the last so this was first question second question was a rounding list the basic uh, dsa questions were asked so this was somehow about the first round after five days uh, i got the result about uh, first round then second round was scheduled second round was interesting second round was totally on scenario based questions they first of all asked me about my current project and they gave me multiple scenarios about my current project only so there were scenarios they told me let's suppose if the data is coming from this location let's say the data sizes increases how will you cater so likewise there were a number of questions in the second round and i was quite sure like second round went um, good as per my expectations and um, luckily after two two three days i got to know that second round is also clear and uh, after that uh, a basic uh, hr round uh, was done just to uh, know my salary expectations and all before that uh, the hr also wanted to uh, clear with me what actually I'll be working on in the Adidas. So she uh, scheduled uh, one call uh, with the director of the uh, data domain of Adidas. And in that call, they briefed me about my profile, what I'll actually be working on. And if I was satisfied with that role, then they could have uh, given me the, you know, uh, the offer letter and all. So that's what, that's what happened. I, that call was scheduled. I went through that call. Everything was made clear to me on what product, uh, products I'll be working, what uh, will be my role. So after that, I got my offer letter and uh, and after serving the notice period here at Adidas, uh, sorry, at Wipro, I joined Adidas and as of now, it is going uh, going quite well. The experience here is uh, very much nice as compared to uh, Wipro. So let's see how it goes further. Talking about uh, key differences between, uh, you know, uh, working at a service based company to a product based companies, I actually uh, see it from uh, my personal experience that uh, 
इन अ प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनी द मेजर डिफरेंस इज अबाउट ओनरशिप वॉट से एवर प्रोजेक्ट और जॉब और इट्स ए टिकट यू आर असाइन टू यू आर द ओनर ऑफ दैट यू हैव टू यू नो मेक श्योर दैट यू कम्प्लीट दैट इन टू अ पर्टिकुलर स्प्रिंट यू डोंट हैव टू रिलाई ऑन अदर्स यू आर द ओनर ऑफ दैट एंटायर प्रोजेक्ट यू विल बी आज अबाउट द अपडेट्स वॉट वेर यू आर स्टैंडिंग हाउ यू आर डूइंग वाइल इन सर्विस बेस्ड कंपनी माइट हैव सीन वेन एवर टास्क इज असाइन टू अ टीम और ग्रुप देर आर मल्टीपल पीपल हु आर अवेलेबल टू डू डू दैट पर्टिकुलर टास्क सो दिस वॉज द मेजर डिफरेंस एज आई कैन सी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द मेजर डिफरेंस वॉज अबाउट द टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड ऑल टूल्स टेक्नोलॉजीज बिंग यूज हीयर इन सर्विस बेस्ड कंपनी लेट सपोज इफ यू आर इन अ पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट यू आर वर्किंग ऑन स्पार्क एयर फ्लो और लाइक वाइज इफ यू मूव टू अदर प्रोजेक्ट दैन यू विल बी अगेन आज टू लर्न सम अदर टेक्नोलॉजी लेट से दे आर दे आर नॉट यूजिंग हडूप दे आर यूजिंग से Amazon S3 to store the data and all. So again, we'll have to learn about that. So the switching between the domains is quite uh, hectic at some time. While it is learning though, but I feel it is not uh, good for a candidate. I mean, he's working few days on a particular pro- uh, project or domain, then again he's switching to other project, other technologies. So he's not getting perfect in any of the particular uh, or specific te- technologies and tech stack. So that's the major difference I see. Apart from that, whether you are in a service-based company or a product-based companies. uh experience of both these organization adds to your data journey so don't feel like you are in a service based company then you are not learning anything you are obviously learning and uh, at the same time if you are in a product based company so whatever experience you are gaining from both these organizations gonna help you in uh, your future at any or uh, some point okay so stay motivated and uh, keep learning keep doing your task as assigned to you and that's it this was all about my experience about the service based and product based as of now Thanks for watching the entire video. If you found this video uh, helpful, hit that like and subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any of my upcoming videos. And until next time, stay curious, uh, keep asking questions and let me know in the comment section what uh, topic I shall make uh, videos in my upcoming days and if you uh, even if you are having any doubts and all, let me know in the comment section. I'll be uh, happy to help you out.